The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there, so now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave, about working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. <gasps> I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. Watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. I tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. <laughs> Just what did you see here? Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians. 
so we're getting zip from Mission Command about our orders. Still, with countless Erujian forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. With so much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want to do. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erusion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Strider 1, we've identified the unknown targets. 
Urgently we need island. We're running out of time. Missile. 
Nickel. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. Nickel. 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 Target was not struck. Nickel. Enemy on your back. Nickel.